Hi, my name is Lynn Kelly and this is how I get bikini ready with Beneath the Surface. Hi, I'm Niall Hobart, celebrity trainer, and this is how we do it at Beneath the Surface. We're going to start off with the kettlebell figure eight. The kettlebell figure eight is going to work your bum, the back of your thigh, and the front of your thigh, but most importantly, it's going to work your inner thigh. So I'm just going to get Lynn here now to demonstrate. So watch Lynn as she goes from side to side, nice and slowly, bending one leg and stretching the other, really pushing her hips back and feeding the stretch in the inner thigh and getting the workout on the outer side of the thigh and it actually uplifts your bum. It's a very, very good exercise if you want that bikini bottom. Okay, moving on, we're gonna do a thing now called a flick, squat and push. The muscles here is a full body workout. You're gonna get a big bang for your buck here. So we're gonna do a thing called flick to stand. Off you go, stand. We're gonna squat and push. Good, and back down to starting position here. Okay, flick to stand, three down, squat to push. Good. So you can see here, every muscle in the body has been worked, from your thigh muscles, to your bum, to your abdominal area, and to all your upper back and arms together. Bringing your feet closer together really tightens the bun. Okay, let's go again. Flick and squat. There you go, good. Okay. Four, down, pause. Hold, stand a little lower, stand and push. All the way up, well done. Moving on from the flick, squat and push, we're going to do a thing called the reverse lunge with a shoulder press. The reason for the reverse lunge, what you'll see with Lynn is when we step back, you'll see the lower back, the bum raising, and a nice tight hamstring. Okay, so off we go then. Flick, step back, up and push. Good. Now when you go back this time, I want you to hold, hold. Okay, now watch how tight the abdominal area is working. Lower back is all contracted and look at the bum being lifted. This is a very, very good exercise for uplifting the bum and getting a lovely stretch in the front of your thigh because you give that elongated muscle look. And step forward and push. Let's go on. So just progressing on from the last two exercises, we're going to put a little bit of boxing in. Because boxing is very good for muscle endurance. But in particular for women, it's great fat burning. So what we're going to do here is going to work the upper body, abdominal area, and we're going to throw a knee and watch out for the surprise of the kick. Okay, so what we're going to do here with Lynn, left leg is forward, we're going to start with our left hand, so it's going to go left, right, left knee, good. So watch we take it again, left, right, knee, good, and again, good. What we're going to do now, we're going to change sides. So it's the same again, right leg forward, so if we work one side, we have to work the other. So we'll go right, left, right knee. So we'll go through it slowly. Right, left, right knee. Good. Now let's take it on. Good. Well done. Two more. Last one. Good. So what we just did there was the upper body and we also did the internal external obliques to the side for the weight. We all want that weight. Now watch what happens here. We're not going to use the knee. We're going to have a kicking strike. Watch who she kicks. Okay, left, right, right kick. Boom. Kick. A little bit higher. Good. Straighten that leg out. Good. Two more. Change sides. Notice, this is the only time that Lynn will get to hit me. Let's go right, left, left. Good. Two. Good. Three. Four, give me two more. Five, six, take a break. Notice when she was kicking me how I was dropping my shoulder. As strong as Lynn is, if you drop your shoulder, you can't hurt the other person that you're working out with. So that is a combination of lower body and upper body cardio workout. So it's a bit of fun because you're hitting something. It's not just coming out and just running on a treadmill, but boxing releases really frustration. Over here, <coughs> we're gonna work the abdominal area again. So we're gonna get all the muscles here. We're gonna get all the PVA turns up the dominant. You want to get your waistline, your obliques, internal, external. So again, we're going to have Lynn straighten her arms out, dropping her hip back towards me. I'm just going to hold rubber band. Lynn's going to raise her hands a little bit higher. And all she's going to do is rotate away from me. Off we go. Good. Now hold, drop your hip back. Notice here, you cannot move your hip. Right? It's all coming from the stomach. 
So here we go, good. 10, nine. Okay, good. So last exercise we did a rubber band. Now we're gonna do a field of torture. Field of torture is very simple. Two connections onto the wheel. We're gonna work all the abdominal area, your lower back and your shoulders for stabilization. So watch what we do here. Now, it's very important that you take note of the nice flat back. Watch Lynn as she rolls out. She's gonna drop her hips to here, hold, and she's gonna pull back in. Okay, off we go again. She's gonna hold, nice flat back, and roll back in. So we're gonna go with seven here, off we go. Seven, good. Notice how flat she is, good. As she's going out, her lower back muscles are getting the work here. As she's coming back in, the abdominal area is getting the contraction. So we're getting more bang for our buck here with this particular exercise. Out and hold, hold, come back. Now we're gonna bring it a little bit lower to the floor. Because Lynn is good and strong, let's try this one. Off you go, as low as you can. And come back, good. If you need help, have somebody hold your ankles. Off you go, Lynn, for five. Five, that to help you go that extra little bit further, increasing the difficulty in the workout, making it a lot better for you. So we've got the down. The plank is elbows directly meet your shoulders. Always start with your hips and bum in the air. So your bum is in the air, you have a round back. Sink in between your shoulder blades. Good. Drop your hips down a tiny bit, retracting your stomach. The muscles we're working here is everything front and back of the stomach lower back, very, very important to retract in those tummy muscles. So we don't have to be doing hundreds and hundreds of sit-ups with this particular exercise. It is very difficult no matter how strong or how advanced you are. So that's phase one of that. Phase two is making it a little bit difficult. We're gonna go back into the plank and we're gonna raise one leg. Okay, lift your hips up higher as we start. Sink between your shoulder blades, hold. Left leg, hold. Again, same thing. Keep your hips square. For four, three, two, change leg. Okay, here what we're gonna do, we're gonna do pelvic raises. Pelvic raises, lower abdominal area, the bum, the hamstring, and a little bit of the calf. So all we're gonna do here is we're gonna breathe out, raise the bum and lower back off the floor. Raise it up, hold. Notice when we're in the air, the belly is retracted in. Drop down and come back up. Good, just do a few. Now we're gonna make it a little bit harder. Lift your toes off the floor, all the weights on your heels. Now we're putting emphasis on the hamstring and on the bum. Okay. Final on from the last exercise, this is the party piece. Okay. This will absolutely give you an amazing workout in your lower abdominal area, your bum area, but more especially, every muscle in your, in your legs. So you'll really feel the burn in this one. So watch this. Two paper plates, lay them down. We're gonna go into a press up position. Okay, so nice straight arms, lifting the knees off the floor. Okay, again, hold the hips high, sinking the shoulder blades, and all we're gonna do is we're just gonna glide and slide the knees underneath our stomach and our chest. Watch Lynn, off we go. Good. Not as easy as it looks, I hope you will try this exercise. This is one of the best exercises and the most fun. Lynn loves this exercise. Probably one of her favorites in the whole workout. Okay, let's go. So Let's get our feet set. Okay, remember, this is the party plate exercise. Hold tight, let's go. 10 seconds, 10, nine, stabilize, eight, seven, well done, six, Five, slow it down now, four, extend those legs, three, and a half, two, well done, one, and relax, take a break. You'll also get a very, very good cardiovascular workout from this exercise. There we go, I hope you enjoy and I hope you try.